latest news and debt. I am Ramishri Jairam with the details. First up, meet Butchpal Ramjas of number 54 village. He was bullied and forced to climb a utility pole and touched a live wire by boys he thought were his friends. Buzzing with excitement at the tender age of 12, Ramjas' life took a turn for the worse. He was hospitalized for years at the Georgetown Public Hospital, with severe pain and confined to a bed. He was badly burnt about his body and was unable to walk. Ramjas was emotional when he recounted that near-death experience in 2013. Beat me. So I mean, go primary school when I go and same time write exam. Yeah, but to me, pass go high school. Yeah, I better go grade school every morning. And that one man he catch me and beat me for playing the London pools. I feel nothing when the court knock me from this left hand here. So it's not going to pay for the pools. After he pays on the pools, I'm holding my hand, my right hand, and come down. Five minutes from me, once I show up, and come down. And then, um, could you remember anything that happened after that, for that day? Can you remember anybody lifting you from that pole or somebody coming to your rescue? No. Me, me hold me right hand and come down. And for the two last things, for the last and post, me two foot took up there. There was me fall, when me fall on there. Fire still went up on my shoulder and I showed me inside that tree. I hold trench water mm -hmm. and piece of my shot been still left hand. When we come from the trench and cut out a piece shot and then go inside the trench and dig more and down from my skin. And he and my next cousin get away and me and my other cousin walk come out. His mother Kamini Ragnat said looking at her son in a helpless state brought tears to her eyes. She said while he was treated for the burns about his body she believes that he was not receiving the best treatment. However, all was not lost for him when Saving Hands Emergency Aid intervened in Ram Jha's case and his mother was grateful for the support. Now Ram Jha's is 17 and doing much better medically and hopes to make a full recovery from his unfortunate incident. Well, I mean, I tried to, tried to send him back in Baptist, you know, Baptist, yeah. I mean, I tried to get contact to send my Dave in Baptist. You know, because I'm glad, because tell you, the, to be honest with you, me I get education, because I become a poor background. I don't, my mother, I send me to school right now, but I go to school. So, I mean, I try, for me, children, and because sake of Dave make my big daughter come off, he not even go to school back. Until when we truly go and go and come and overseas for the surgery and do everything. He, he is not fully out of the woods and his mother is making an appeal to the public for any assistance they could give to help him. More after the break. Hey, looky there. Let me go to techie boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I can get a lack of teeth in a big stinky 30 second hand boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And then got my favorite color, pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Caribbean rice from the lush rice fields of Guyana straight to your home. Caribbean rice, our people, our rice.
a man's beer. The police were deployed to several city schools as the police force continues to probe threats made against the School of the Nation's private institution. That development will be complemented with regular patrols at schools along with other security measures. This comes following a meeting with the Minister of Education, Nicolette Henry, Commissioner of Police, Leslie James, and other senior education officials and police officers. The Ministry of Education in the media release noted that the Ghana police force is treating the matter as a priority. As it is being investigated by the Guyana Police Force Major Crimes Unit. Now, this move comes days after the director of the school, Dr. Brian O'Toole, was shot twice in his arms. Dr. O'Toole had just arrived at his Bel Air home. He was rushed to the Woodlands Hospital, where emergency surgery was done. The shooting comes on the heels of a threat allegedly made by an expelled student of the school, which was posted on social media. In that post, the student threatened to shoot up the school. The school door remains closed as management worked to put new security measures in place. Additionally, the police gave the assurance that the perpetrator will be brought to justice even as the force explores new leads and continues to question some students in the presence of their parents. The Ministry of Education has undertaken to work closely with the school to assist in bringing a speedy resolution to this matter. The Ministry of Education said the Ministry will be expanding and strengthening its school support unit to address such issues. Remember to visit our website www.rdproductiongy.com, Facebook or Instagram for details in these and other stories.